Well, the other premiers had, in fact, warned him that he was putting the mocker on <laughs> yes. the thing by promising the public holiday. Evelyn, what did you make of that? Uh, sensitive on his part not to go in the field again or uh, just didn't want to be associated with the losers? Yeah, look, I think he has a referendum to peddle. And naturally, the government's position on The Voice has been framed as a positive yes, not a negative no. And presently, this uh, campaign appears to be losing. So, of course, he doesn't need to appear on the front line under all the news headlines that read Australia loses. It's all about optics. And I think he opted out of having to face the more negative press than he already is receiving. <laughs> Look, you're right, and I shouldn't have called the Matildas. I, I don't call them losers myself. I thought they did extremely well to uh, come third or fourth in uh, the World Soccer Championships for women. is an astonishing thing in a, in a country mm. like ours. And, and James, um, the referendum, it doesn't seem like it's going anywhere, does it? No, it does not. Uh, you know, once Anthony Albanese starts talking about conspiracy theories on the no side, you, uh, you realise just how in trouble the yes campaign really is. So uh, Anthony Albanese's got a lot of problems with that referendum. And uh, as I said, Absolutely. that's why he was so excited about the Matildas providing a much needed distraction. <laughs> James McPherson, Evelyn Ray, thank you so much. Sorry, James, your reward for helping us get the Brian Houston interview is to have low time for yourself. Thank you so much.